Babylon is through. 50% Americans are depressed and downtrodden by their government. I'm going to play a quick video about two minutes long from a YouTube channel called Full Spectrum Survival. And this is why we seek for a new heaven, a new earth, world, and righteousness because people are not making it here in the society. All right, but before I go any further, I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rabbi Kodash, the monster of the elders, that great millstone, sinking honors to the elect, peace and bless to the one third confusion of faces. Let's get to it. Get ready, everyone. We have health experts out there sending a warning across the United States of America. They say that very soon, one out of every two people in our country will be clinically depressed. They're saying there's going to be a massive increase in the prescriptions needed for antipsychotics, antidepressants, things like uh, SSRIs, and that the entire country, 50% of it, is going to be medicated in one form or another. So you have the entire country, 50% is going to be medicated. And I don't know if you can, if you're looking at the screen in the top left corner, you'll see a picture of the Joker, but there's captions there. What does the captions read? The captions read, people are not addicted to alcohol and drugs. They are addicted to escaping reality. And that's what's really happening. People are trying to escape reality. One moment. I mean, here it is. Remember the housing crisis going back, what, 2010, 2011? Well, really 2008, the housing crisis. So many people had to foreclose on their houses, right? Then you also had um, the inflation, the dollar losing its value. You've also had this onslaught of the alphabet soup community. Then you also had the third wave of feminism, right? Then you had what? Fake news, medical misinformation, CD19, whole world locking down. Uh, when there's a, when more people become poor, there becomes an increase in violence and crime, right? When people can't afford food, people can't afford medication and certain things like that, you know? That's what's happening to the society. People can't pay their bills. They teach you to be independent, separate yourself from one another. But you live in a society now where you need two incomes just to make it. So rather than the man and the woman coming together to live with one another, they are taught to be separated from one another because they can't even deal with one another. So now a lot of people are just depressed, mentally ill, living in a materialistic physical society where everyone looks at the exterior and they're neglecting their interior, which is their mind and their spirit. Mental health is so far greater than your physical health, right? So this is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And lo and behold, it was just stated that over 50% of Americans will be medicated on something. And that's why you have the Joker here. People are not addicted to alcohol and drugs. They are addicted to escaping reality. They want to escape reality. Because reality, like they say, the truth, it hurts. It truly hurts. All right. Let's go to the second um, portion of this video. According to the Federal Reserve, and this is a little bit more about how they are breaking us, the Federal Reserve's Jerome Powell says the economy is not suffering. Now, how can they stand up there and say this? Let me tell you. It's because if your hand has a, an infection but your body is fine, a doctor will look at you and he'll say your body or your organs are fine. That's all that matters really is your organs. And that's why when you get something like sepsis and it finally makes its way 
into your bloodstream, into your organs, that's when you finally croak. So when they're looking at the economy of the United States of America, they're not looking at you, gangrenous finger. They're not looking at your busted toe, your broken leg. They're not looking at your hernia. They're not looking at anything else. All they're caring about is the organs, and the organs of the United States of America are the military-industrial complex, the debt that we are working towards threatening other countries with, the United States dollar as it stands right now, and the corporations that these politicians are getting massive amounts of back ends from, massive amounts of checks every single quarter from. That's what they care about. That's the organs. So when they're looking at one out of every two people being clinically depressed in the next couple of years, this is exactly why. Right, because what keeps America flowing? The military. The military is the reason why America keeps going because they keep putting their foot on the necks of these smaller countries. They can't do it with Russia. They can't do it with China. They can't do it with Iran. They can't do it with any other country that have nuclear capabilities. It is also a major, comp a major component when it comes to international commerce. No, you can't do that. But um, America's blood is the military. And the constantly... I won't say rapidly, but constantly declining petrodollar. Like, how many more times are you going to keep throwing money into the pot knowing that you don't have a full house, knowing you don't even have a, a two of a kind, you know, three of a kind, I'm sorry, three of a kind to my poker hands. You keep trying to call a bluff when no one believes you because everybody else know what they have in their hands, Right. The only one that's believing this garbage that you're feeding them is these imbeciles, these nincompoops here in America. Vast majority. Yeah. I had someone on the Internet trying to argue with me that America is the reason why China economy is booming. I'm saying to myself, if America, if, if America is the reason why China is, a bo is booming, because I said America is one big Walmart. A lot of countries just make their products and sell it here. I'm like, how come America isn't shipping out products to China for China to sell. China, Indonesia, Vietnam, Bangladesh, and you can even go to like Brazil and all the other countries. They send a lot of goods to America. America is dependent on other countries. It's really a catch-22. So I won't sit here and say the other countries will make it without America. The entire world is intertwined with America due to through the transatlantic slave trade. That's how that's truly how international commerce came about globally. After the international um oh, sorry, international. After the Atlantic slave the transatlantic slave trade, where we was brought here on cargo slave ships and trans transported to and fro throughout the earth, all nations were intertwined with America. But America has become more dependent on them because they uh, are not dependent on America. America not a major export country. Remember that. America, go inside of a store and look at where it was made at. It was made somewhere else. You People say, oh, I was born in America. Buy an American-born vehicle. Yeah, but your vehicle was manufactured in either Japan or Mexico. It wasn't even created in the same country that you're buying. Your it's just, it just goes to show you, man, that Jeremiah 51, 89, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take ball for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Oh, that's heavy. That remind me of um, Revelation 18, where it says that her sins have reached up into the heavens. Exactly. There's no healing America. This country is over. Babylon the Great is fallen, right? And there's nothing you people can do about it. That's why you're trying to escape reality. But reality for a soldier, oh yeah, how about she may have shy, not concerned with the affairs of this world because these are all temporal. We're looking for the kingdom of heaven, which is eternal. But through much tribulation shall be entered to the kingdom of heaven. Last segment. Now, Federal Reserve, the uh, Jerome Powell, the chairman there, says that they had some real bombshells. This is according to reports to drop with another quote from uh, Powell that says commercial real estate will be a problem for years to come. Now, these organizations, 
the federal government, they all know that we're looking at a five to seven, maybe even a nine to 10 year downward spiral. That is if we don't see a major black swan event. I'm not talking like that bridge that's going to affect our supply chain. I'm not talking like even a uh, Russian encroachment on some other territories that aren't NATO driven. I'm talking about something that everybody says, no, that couldn't happen. A major black swan would be a new biological threat to our entire planet. It would be a nuclear event that draws the other countries into nuclear war. It could be an economic crisis or a realization that we have just been absolutely spun through the web. They know where we're at. We know what the position we're in. And when the Americans and the people of our world finally wake up and see that you are nothing but a servant to them and their ways and their debauchery and their illegal morality and everything that they're doing, basically hookers and cocaine, when everybody wakes up and realizes that, you might see the pitchforks, you might see the torches. Now, I just watched some video, speaking of how America is absolutely getting flushed down the toilet, some thug, he had prior, you can call him a punk, you can call him a thug, whatever you want. He had... So now you understand what's going on in the society. People are not making it. <laughs> and then he was going to go on to go on, he was going to go on to speak about how some dude just clocked some woman, just punched her in the face in New York. I mean, like... <laughs> America's really mad max. Only thing that's keeping everyone civilized is that people still working. There's still food in the stores. You can still pick up medication. You know, you still have running water. You know, you still have air conditioned. You still can go buy your favorite beer, your favorite um, cigars or cigarettes. When everything comes to an abrupt stop and then becomes, okay, the government is no longer here for you to help you, to save you. Then that's when great evil shall come upon the earth. Greater evil shall come upon the earth. But, Marie, 2nd Edges 16 21, Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, victuals mean your necessities, that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, swore famine and great confusion. And that's what's going to happen. The sore famine and great confusion because evil shall grow more upon earth. Why shall evil grow more upon earth? I said it before and I'll say it again. The main reason why you have crime anywhere throughout the earth is because of poverty. I'm going to say it again. The main reason you have crime all throughout the earth is because you have poverty. But why is there poverty? Because... The rich abhor the poor. They will take and take and take and take and take from the poor until they can't take no more than they replace you. I.e., why do you think they allow so many immigrants to come into America? I'm going to close out soon. Why do, you think, why do you think they allow so many immigrants to come into America? Because you boneheaded, self-centered, egotistical, arrogant, I'm on top of the world, American, especially Gen Z and Gen X. You're not willing to do the laborious jobs that keep this place afloat. You're not willing to be the concrete, the concrete pours, the bricklayers, the electricians, the plumbers. All right. You're not willing to be those men that's willing to do the uh, the science, technology, engineering and, and, and uh, um, the medical fields. You, you're not willing to do that type of work. And I won't even say the men, mainly really the women too here. So they're allowing these immigrants to come in because they're going to fulfill that job. I.e., they're not immigrants, but the so-called Mexicans and the so-called Guatemalans, Hondurans, everybody from Mexico, Central America, and South America. They quote unquote call them immigrants, though they're the indigenous people. And who the hell you think be keeping this place afloat? Where I'm living at, I'm renting out a nice room, beautiful room. Upstairs, all by myself. Nobody else lives upstairs. I literally watched them renovate the entire house when I'm living here. And they were from Brazil. They were like from Guatemala. It's our people that's keeping this place afloat, man, really. You know? But nonetheless, though, I'm going to close out with this piece up for the elect. Psalms 23, 1 through 6. A psalm of David. Yahweh is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, 
Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Hmm. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they come for me. That's symbolic to his strength. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. That's heavy. <laughs> thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and, and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of Yahweh forever. So with that being said, I pray you was at a fine fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Paradox season. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Come out, Allah. Muflaba ball. Shalom.